dive into Sarajak Newton's mysterious secrets. Join us as we explore the hidden conflicts, bitter rivalries, alchemical mysteries and unpublished manuscripts revealing the darker side of this scientific legend. Discover the untold tale of one of history's greatest minds exclusively on Pregnanum. Hello everyone, welcome to Pregnanum. I am Dr. PPZ and this is our series Legends of Science. Here we uncover the incredible tales of the brilliant minds who shaped our world. In our previous video, we delved into the extraordinary scientific contributions of Sir Isaac Newton, unveiling the brilliance that shaped our understanding of the universe. Today we embark on a different journey, exploring the lesser known sides of this iconic figure, the enigmatic shadows that colored Newton's life. Let's journey back to the countryside of 17th century England, where the story of Isaac Newton unfolds. Born prematurely on the Christmas day in 1642, his early days were marked by uncertainty. As a child, Isaac experienced hardships. His mother remarried an older man and left Isaac with his grandmother while she pursued her new life. This absence of his mother's care at a young age made Isaac feel lonely and isolated. Isaac felt even more abandoned and insecure because his stepfather didn't show any interest in him. Young Isaac used his passion for science and constant experiments not just to make discoveries but also to escape the emotional emptiness that surrounded him. As we dive into the intricacies of Newton's life, it is essential to peel back the layers of his relationships some of which were marked by contentious clashes. Isaac Newton and Robert Hooke clashed for scientific ideas, especially concerning optics. Newton's theories faced criticism from Hooke, leading to published arguments in the Royal Society's record. While their professional disagreements are known, the depth of their personal animosity is not entirely clear from historical records. Details about their personal conflicts beyond science remain uncertain leaving us unsure how deep their issues really ran. Newton and Leibniz had a big fight over who invented calculus first. Newton accused Leibniz for stealing his ideas, claiming that Leibniz took credit for things Newton had already figured out. This disagreement turned into a bitter argument about who deserved the credit. Both Newton and Leibniz strongly defended themselves, but Newton's harsh letters and public criticisms made the situation worse. Their rivalry cast a shadow over the achievements of both mathematicians, leaving a stain on their legacies due to their heated dispute about who came up with calculus first. Isaac Newton's time as president of the Royal Society was marked by significant influence over scientific discussions. Newton took charge of discussions and was not fond of differing opinions. He tended to prioritize his own ideas over others. He selected people who shared his views, creating a circle of like-minded individuals. This often limited the exposure to diverse perspectives. Newton's misuse of power within the Royal Society is evident in his control over the publication process. He often delayed or obstructed the works of scientists he disagreed with, hindering their recognition and scientific progress. These instances of conflict showcase Newton's tendency to engage in heated disputes with his contemporaries. While his scientific achievements were groundbreaking, the shadows of these rivalries remind us that even the most brilliant minds are not immune to the complexities of human relationships. Beyond the realm of Newton's celebrated scientific achievements lay a lesser-known fascination that fueled his inquisitive mind the world of alchemy. Newton's interest in alchemy was not merely an eccentric hobby. It was a profound fascination with the mystical transformation of matter. He studied how to turn ordinary metals into gold and to find the secret of the philosopher's stone, all part of the alchemical beliefs of his era. Newton's pursuit of alchemy was not confined to theoretical interests. It extended to practical experiments conducted in his own laboratory. His meticulous notes and experiments in pursuit of the Philosopher's Stone and the secret to eternal life are testimony to his deep involvement in this mysterious discipline. 
Despite his profound engagement with alchemy, Newton maintained secrecy about these endeavors. His alchemical studies were concealed from the public eye, hidden behind the veil of his esteemed scientific reputation. Newton's exploration of alchemy, while enigmatic, offers a glimpse into the multidimensional nature of his mind. It reflects not just his scientific curiosity, but also his interest in mystical and mysterious areas, revealing the complex range of his intellectual pursuits. Beyond Isaac Newton's celebrated works lay a collection of unpublished manuscripts offering a glimpse into the lesser explored sides of his mind, a world teeming with unconventional thoughts and mystical ponderings. These unpublished writings delve into areas far beyond the scope of his known scientific inquiries. They touch upon theological speculations, esoteric studies, and even prophecies, showcasing a side of Newton seldom discussed in historical narratives. Newton's interest in theology filled these manuscripts. His deep exploration of religious texts led him to interpretations and predictions that were unorthodox for a scientist of his stature. Within these manuscripts lie cryptic diagrams, complex calculations, and musings that blur the boundaries between science and mysticism. These unpublished manuscripts reveal an Isaac Newton, far removed from the image of a solely rational scientist. They portray a man intrigued by the occult, driven by a curiosity that transcended the confines of empirical investigation. Beyond Newton's scientific brilliance, his personal life had its own unique patterns. When studying at university, he was completely focused on his studies, sometimes forgetting to eat or sleep properly. His preference for staying up late into the night was a routine part of his quest for knowledge. Newton's eating habits were all over the place. He would often skip meals when engrossed in his work and preferred staying up late, which might not have been great for his health. Newton's overall personal life reveals a person consumed by his work, sometimes neglecting everyday things. His commitment to science was remarkable, but it sometimes overshadowed other aspects of his life. As we conclude the episode, we are reminded that behind every legend lies a complex narrative. Isaac Newton's brilliance shines bright, but his shadows reveal the layers of a man shaped by brilliance, conflict, and mystery. That's a wrap on our journey through Isaac Newton's life in Legends of Science. Join us next for more fascinating stories from history's scientific legends. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned to Pregganam for our upcoming episodes. Thank <laughs> you.